Greetings in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. I want to greet all sons and the daughters of Christ Mystery Church and all the followers of Christ Mystery Church. Today, as you all know, that this is the day that we need to celebrate the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Many call this day of today the Pentecost, the day where everyone, where every religion, it could be Christianity, it could be any religion, those that believe in Christ, they are celebrating this day today. However, we celebrate this day differently. Some today they are mourning, some today they are crying. But as for us, we know how to celebrate this day, as how God has revealed this day unto us. This is not the day to mourn, this is not the day to cry, but this is the day where we celebrate the victory over death, where we celebrate the power of the resurrection, where we celebrate what Jesus Christ has done upon our life when he was crucified. I want to encourage you out there, sons and the daughters and everyone who's following us today, that today we are going to celebrate the victory that Jesus Christ has given us through his death. Last week we preached about the first Adam and we said Adam came and, through, and sin came through him. However, Christ came in order to finish the first Adam. We are here today celebrating the first fruit, which was Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One of God. The one that God has sent unto us to die for our sins in order for us to be righteous, in order for us to be resurrected, to be risen up and seated with Him. As we are not seated on the sofa of Moses, but seated with Him at the right hand side with the Father, that is the Christ that I'm talking about today. And we are going to celebrate him today. His death brought life unto me and you. And I'm here to say, as the father of the house, Apostle Jonathan, I'm talking to you believing that you need the weight wherever you are. We are in a very, very difficult times where the only thing that can make us to stand is the word of God. We don't need anything, even today, when we celebrate this day of our Lord Jesus Christ, we need His Word. We need to understand the breaking of the bread and the sharing of His blood. What is the meaning unto us as Christians? Blessed all over the world, sons and the daughters, and all my pastors wherever you are, I greet you all again. And I say, stay tuned and believe that this word that I'm going to speak today it is from above. It is not my word because there is nothing that the Son can do without the Father. And there is no one who knows the Son except the Father. No one knows the Father except the Son. I'm here as sent by God unto you because I understand that you need to hear the word of God more than anything now. The pandemic, the fear that is out there, it is not part of your portion, but it is an awareness unto you. But what you need to hear, it is the word of God that comfort you, that console you, that restored you, that heals your soul. And I'm here to say, receive the word of God today upon your life if we celebrate this day of our Lord Jesus Christ when he was nailed on the cross in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the scripture that I feel in my heart that I need to share with you so that you understand why in the midst of all this trouble, in the midst of all the dark cloud that has covered the whole world, including our country, why I'm still here standing today. It is because of the assignment that God has given me. And we are going to hear 
what Jesus Christ says to Peter when he was resurrected after the crucifixion in the book of John chapter 21 from verse 15 let's read John chapter 21 from verse 15 yes when they had finished eating when they had finished eating Jesus said to Simon Jesus Peter, said to Simon Peter Simon son of John Simon son of John do you love me more do than you this? love me like this yes Lord yes Lord he that said, was Peter he said he said you know that I love you you know that I love you Jesus said Jesus said feed my lambs feed my lamb again Jesus said again Jesus said Simon son of John Simon son of Jonah do you love me do you love me he answered he answered yes Lord yes Lord you know that I love you, you. know I love you Jesus said he is coming back for the third time take care of my sheep take care of my sheep that Let, is was Jesus verse number 17 verse number 17 the third time the he third said time now Simon John Simon, Simon son of John the son of John do you love me do you love me Peter was hurt Peter was the head and he was troubled because Jesus asked him for the third time because it was for the third time do you love me do you love me he said he said Lord Lord you know all things you know all things you know that I love you, you. know I love you Jesus said Jesus said feed my sheep feed my sheep just on the end there why I'm starting with this scripture I want you to understand that Jesus Christ asked Peter this question because he knew that the time like this will come where Jesus Christ will not be seen in our midst physically so however he will be in our midst in the form of his spirit because God is the God is spirit and he is God that needs to be worshipped in spirit and in truth he asked this question to Peter because he knew that when he is no longer with the disciple possibility are the disciples can go back to their original life Peter could go back to the former life of catching the fish but Jesus Christ was not interested in the business of Peter he was interested in his ships hence he asked him three times Peter do you love me Peter do you love me and the only interest that Jesus Christ was having was for Peter to feed the ships. I'm here to feed you as my ships. That is the assignment, that is the mandate that God has given me. I have no other assignment. I cannot be indoor and not feeding you, not taking care of you, not loving you, not reflecting what I have confessed when you meet with Christ. When you receive Jesus Christ as our, your Lord and your Savior, He has given us the assignment to take care of you. That is why I'm saying, I'm starting with this scripture so that you understand why I'm here to feed you with the word of God. That is to show that I love you. That is to show that I'm also adhering to the mandate, the assignment, the commission that God has given us and that God has assigned unto us as the servant of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want us to go to the sermon of today, which it is going to speak to us about this day where Jesus Christ was crucified, where Jesus Christ was nailed on the cross for me and you to receive life and i want to understand and believe that when we are sharing this scripture you are going to understand very well the victory that jesus christ has given us and the guarantee which has already been deposited upon us as christian and i want you to be blessed as you listen to this word of god in jesus name amen 